Let's do the culture update. All right, there's a few things. Uh, this week, um, Mark Zuckerberg came out and admitted to proxy censorship that was forced by the government. Uh, that is completely and totally against the law. It's a huge deal. I hope that Jim Jordan actually does something about it. I hope that they hold them accountable, the government officials accountable that were breaking the law. But, you know, it's, uh, I don't know if y'all know this, but it's against the law for the government to um, censor speech. Did y'all know that? <laughs> they would never cross that line, right? So they, since they couldn't outright do it themselves, they got the social media companies, they forced the social media companies into doing it. Um, and now they, there's no denying that they actually did do that. So we'll see what happens. Uh, another thing that I saw, uh, I saw this at first and I was like, that's not true. There's no way. And then the, I kept seeing more and more tweets about it. So I'm like, maybe it is true. Uh, Y'all have heard about the Venezuelan uh, gangsters that took over the apartment complex in Aurora, or Aurora, Colorado. Well, Hell's Angels are on their way to remedy the situation. And Hell's Angels was like, hey, nobody terrorizes our citizens but us. <laughs> so they're going to make sure that they're the ones that are going to oppress and, and break the law. Okay, so uh, that, be hey, there's a, just so y'all know. This. So, um, uh, another thing is, uh, I just want to remind you, politics is not the answer to what ails the, our country. Jesus is, period. And, and y'all know, look, y'all are in church, you're like, yeah, amen, I know. Well, when you're watching the news, you're not like, Jesus is, Jesus is the answer to that. Jesus is the answer to that. Um, you just are, are throwing stuff at your TV, and you're angry, and you're bitter, and you're... Um, getting the right person, I, I said this to someone this week, getting the right person elected may fix... Look, let me just, let's just shoot straight with y'all. I know who y'all are, okay? If Trump gets elected in November, okay, I want you to know Chick-fil-A is not bringing their prices down, okay? Some things, the prices will change, like uh, energy, the prices, as it has always fluctuated, it will come down. Gas, almost probably immediately will come down. And uh, But, however, just calm down before you go upload, okay? Okay. Um, the, a politician, no matter who it is, is not the savior. It's not going to say, the prices aren't going to, uh, there's not, it's not a CEO anywhere that's going to be like, you know what, we're making more money now. Let's go ahead and lower our prices. They're not going to do that. Prices only go in one direction. They do not, they do not go up and down. They just go up. Okay. So they, but they, maybe if someone else is at the helm, uh, they won't go up as fast. Maybe inflation will, will, will oh goodness. All right, the last, the last bit of culture update news is um, uh, I, I want to continue to encourage you guys to pray for Joey Lynn and Robert as they're going. Uh, next, next Monday, they're going to, uh, to hopefully to trial finally. And, uh, and so I want you to be continually praying. For those of you that don't know, can y'all stand up? Yeah. Sorry. Um, next week, we're going to call them up and we're going to pray for them. Uh, I'm not praying for you right now. Yeah. Just sit down, just sit down, sit down. <laughs> But we're going to pray for them. Uh, they are, uh, when, I, when I made the joke a while ago about the government trying to censor, uh, that's what's happening. So um, we're going to pray for them next week. And, but I would, I would ask for you to continually be praying for them. Uh, the trial could last uh, a month. It could last weeks. Let's just pray for them every single day that justice would, would come through, that the Lord would break through, that, uh, that they would come out victorious uh, because they are being unfairly prosecuted. Okay?